I'm on the cell phone. <laughs> Watching properly, I have three A's. Always ask me, how did you get into magic? As a youngster, I was mugged by a magician. <laughs> now I was. He stole my wallet, my watch, and six silver coins from behind my ear. Uh, never mind. Okay, so anyway, I've been into magic for a long time, and for many years I was fortunate enough to work on the cruise ships as a magician. And when you're out at sea, you get to meet the sailors. And I'll never forget when I met my wife for the first time, she said, Wolfgang, what do you do? And I said, I'm one of those O's, you know, quick with a hana. <laughs> and she said, Oh, a sailor. <laughs> Now they work a lot with ropes and they've got all sorts of knots. You get a reef knot, you get a granny knot, you get a slip knot, you get a bowline, all sorts of knots. Have you ever heard of a jumping knot before? Yes or no? No, I thought not. Now it's called a jumping knot because it jumps from there to there. You see, jumping knot. <laughs> you know, the more you drink, the better my stuff gets. <laughs> okay, now, here we go. it's a regular piece of rope. Now, if I take out a piece of rope like this, everyone says, ah, ah, it's a trick piece of rope. You're a magician. You bought it in a magic shop. This gedinges. You have my word, it is a normal piece of rope like you find in any bedroom. Now. <laughs> Did you guys notice that was the loudest laugh of the evening? Everyone got that. I'm worried about you lot. But it doesn't matter what I say, I know you don't trust me. So I'm going to pick on you, sir. If I throw this to you, would you, will you I'll just check it out inch for inch that that's a normal piece of rope. But if that's an inch, you've got no problems. Yeah, he's like, okay. uh, You enjoyed that, eh? Thank you. I see your wife's laughing like her next to you. <laughs> okay, right. I don't know. You know, I drove down here. Have you noticed all the stickers on the cars lately? I drove down here. I see the sticker on the car. I'm a vet. That's why I drive like an animal. <laughs> Suddenly it dawned on me, yes, there's a lot of proctologists on the road, eh? <laughs> <laughs> You'll get it tomorrow. Okay, now, I've got to tell you that I learned this trick from a very well-known Chinese magician in Hong Kong, a very good friend of mine. If ever you go to Hong Kong, you look him up. He's a TV celebrity. His name is Fu Ling Yu. <laughs> and... I'll never forget when he taught me this trick, we were sitting in the city center of Hong Kong in a Jewish Chinese restaurant when he taught this to me. What? Have you never heard of it? If ever you go, it's in Kuala Lumpur, it's called So Sue Me. And I'll never forget it, I'm sitting there and I called the waiter over, I went, hey you! And he came over, oh, how oh, you know my name? And I had the same response you had. I said, Jewish Chinese restaurant? Are you kidding me? Do you serve Chinese Jews here? He says, oh, I don't know. I found out. I come back now. And off he went. And he came back like half an hour later. He said, oh, no, we only got orange juice, lychee juice, and apple juice. <laughs> and I was really hungry. I said, don't you have any chicken? He goes, oh, we got chicken chow mein, chicken chop suey, chicken egg for young, and chicken ding. I said, well, what? He said, chicken ding. I said, chicken ding? What's that? He said, oh, microwave chicken. Ding. <laughs> anyway, so I said, nah. I said, don't you have anything else? He goes, oh, we also got chicken supplies. I said, what? He said, chicken supplies. I said, I'll have, what's that? He said, oh, chicken surprise. I'll have that. Not 20 minutes later, like this poiky pot arrives. My a groot pot met a dexel up, but it's like, you know, like it's hot, it's sizzling. And he puts it down. As he walks away, the lid lifts up and two eyes look at me. I'm like, whoa, what's this? He goes, oh, sorry, sorry, not chicken supplies, ah, peaking duck. <laughs> anyway, okay. So, this was the trick that he taught me with a piece of rope. How many ends does a piece of rope have? Two very good. So if I take my scissors and I cut one end off, agreed, there is just one left. I pay for my jokes, I use them. Okay, I now have an endless piece of rope. I will take the two ends like this and end there and end there. 
Are you happy that if I put the two in Z down here, this is the middle there? Yeah? If I snoop, if I snoop in half, you're going to say I'm cheating. I'm going to pick on this gentleman here again. You, sir, with a camera. Would you snoop it? No, you've got a camera. I'll pick on him. Would you snoop it in half? Pink is finger, white is rope. You're snipping that very well. You should become a rabbi. Thank you very much. Okay, right. So now, I have two pieces of equal length because you cut it in half. You happy you cut it in half, right? So you can see two pieces of equal length. Now, the difficult thing. I get to say the middle. You know, I never make mistakes. I once thought I did, but I was wrong. I gotta tell you what, I got a super key rank. So if we stretch it like this, maybe we can just get them back to the same length like that. There we go. That's a bit better, hey? Yeah. Oh, 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 just because you clapped. That was very kind of you. Just because you clapped, I'll do it again. You wanna see it again? But this time I want you to watch very carefully. Okay. And in that, am I going too fast with quick awareness test? Tell me where are the ends? Are they in my hand or in my trouser pocket. Does he trick for Now they're not in my they're in my hand. Look, I'm gonna do it again. Okay, watch now. An end and an end. By the way, do you know that the word finished and the word complete are not synonyms? They have two different meanings. Did you know that? Because you say to somebody finished and complete, as he sell it done. That, that's it. Finished and complete have separate meanings. Because you see, if you meet the right woman in your life. then you are complete <laughs> however if you meet the wrong woman in your life that is jay finished no no well well hold on wait however if the right woman catches you with the wrong woman then you are completely finished <laughs> okay right so it was i mean <laughs> I need you to tell me very quickly, what did I put into my trouser pocket? The ends or the middle? The, oh damn, sorry, the ends or the middle? Now you're not watching properly, see this piece of rope has got no ends and that happens to me every time I do the trick. But I'm prepared for an emergency because for an emergency I have the spare set of ends in my shirt pocket over here. You see? And all you do is you just place them onto the rope like this, you blow, and they come apart like that. Now, I'm going to tie them together. The reason I do this, it's easier than tying them apart. It's all logical what I do. Okay, so we do that, there, there, like this, that's it. And one more, and have you ever seen a magician's pair of scissors before? Or I've got one in my pocket here, really sharp. All you do is you just go, and you cut it like that. Damn, now I've got two pieces tied together. All I wanted was one piece of rope. Remember in the beginning I showed you the jumping knot? They call this a blow knot. Because <laughs> you blow on it and you blow it straight off like that. And there is the original piece of rope which you checked. Thank you very much! Yeah.